why use .NET MAUI? I'm going to give you some ideas about what are the main benefits or possibilities about this framework. So the fifth option is talking about possibilities because the application development is really, really important. Just consider that there are more than 1 billion of Windows 10 11 devices in the world and there are more than 4 billion of iPhones and Android devices in the world. That is a huge amount of possible customers and possibilities. The second option is because multi-platform. So the traditional approach is uh, traditionally applications have a separate code base writing in native language, built with native tools and using platform specific features. So you need to know different language, different IDs and different, of course, process environment, etc. There are cons about uh, the traditional approach and it's of course, it takes a longer time because you require to write the code uh, in, in different language, different times, and usually that requires multiple teams, a team related and associated with the iOS development, the Android team, doing the Android stuff, etc. The possibilities to share codes, of course, is possible, mostly in the backend part or even in the applications. There are different strategies to share code using the traditional approach but it's not that typical or the, the amount of code that you can share is more reduced. The pros is uh, that the uh, traditional applications generally for which platform user experience guidelines and also the performance is really, really good. Uh, they have access to all the platforms specific functionality in a easy way, etc. etc. Now let's talk about the .NET Mau approach. .NET MAUI is an application development platform that allows you to build applications for different platforms just using a single code base sharing a big amount of code. All the applications will be native applications. In the case of Android and iOS, we'll use .NET for Android and .NET for uh, iOS. In macOS, we'll use Mac Catalyst while in Windows, at the end, you are going to create a WinUI 3 application. Then we can use .NET. And .NET has expanded and changed a lot in the last years. There are many possibilities with .NET. You can build with .NET stuff related with, uh, of course, mobile and desktop applications, but also for, for web, gaming, cloud, IoT, or for example, AE. Uh, machine learning and different options and also has embraced the open source has moved to try to achieve to solve as many possibilities and problems and as possible so probably uh, maybe you have a team that have acknowledged or are using .NET for example to build stuff in the cloud and could be interesting to take advantage of this knowledge with .NET feature code etc to create also applications for mobile and, and desktop. The .NET adoption has been growing up lately between the last .NET version, for example, .NET 5, .NET 6, and .NET 7 is growing version by version, and the active users and the active community is uh, bigger and bigger. Then the tooling is another interesting thing, mostly because of course, you are going to use the same ID for all the platform, in this case, Visual Studio, but also you have now with .NET MAUI a single project. So it's a one common code base, the same project to share all the stuff related with uh, all the applications, but still being able to access to every platform and have a specific code platform by platform. Then we have Hot Reload. .NET MAUI includes support for .NET Hot Reload that allow you to modify, manage source code while your application is running without require to pause and, you know, relaunch the application again. The code modifications can be applied directly while the application is running, not, not required to recompile. Also, the .NET MAUI includes support for shaml hot reload, so it allows you to do the same with shaml files. You can just modify shaml files directly and see the change reflected while the application is running. And that, that accelerates a lot and increases the productivity a lot. And then we can talk about access to each platform. We have, for example, 
Uh, Don't let Maui is not use a UI framework. It allows more options, like for example, Don't let Maui graphics and entry cross platform graphics API or Essentials. Essential is a big amount of uh, set of APIs to access directly to platform specific APIs, like for example, uh, information about the Celerium meter, the device, vibration, the battery, or I don't know access to the um, connectivity information to know if the device is connected or not. There are abstract APIs that you can use from the cross-platform layer and are directly just implemented in every platform. So you don't need to know specific code of every specific platform to access to many of the typical and common functionality to create uh, applications. If you have learned something new or liked the content, you can subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss new content when it appears. Remember, you can leave your opinion or feedback in the comments of the video. See you soon!